In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you some tips for placing a video within a video. This will replicate what you often see in a news broadcast on television, where we have one video and the spokesman talking, as you see in this picture, and then another video playing while they're talking. What we'd like to do then is go ahead and emulate that we have on our actual live track here a spokesman on track number two which we filmed in front of a green screen and then we have a curtain that we put in using our chroma key effect and now what we're going to do is put some stories video of stories in the upper right corner so I'll take the first one which is a crime scene I'll drag and drop that down to track number three and it will do what it does by default. It will fill the screen. So all we have to do is resize it. I can click on any of the four corners and adjust the size and then adjust the location. So we could use something like this or maybe even a little larger if we wanted to. That looks better. And then we're going to say, well, we're going to move from one video clip to the other. The second clip is going to be these folks talking at a table. And I'll drag that down. Now, the tendency here would be to try to resize it to match the first one. The good news is you don't have to do that. So I'm going to click on the first clip that I did resize and right click and then choose Copy Keyframe Attributes. Then I'm going to click on my second clip and right click and choose Paste Keyframe Attributes. It will tell me my attributes will be replaced. Do I want to continue? I'll click on the OK button. And now I find that both of these clips are now exactly the same size and in the same location. So when I play my clip and it moves from one to the other, the second is perfectly on top of the former one. So it's a nice way to go in this kind of a situation. Now the other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to add a border around this. It's a little plain now. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'll give myself a bit more room, and then I'm going to take both of these clips and drag them down to a higher numbered track. I'll put them on track four. We'll go to our media room, and under media content, I'll choose a color board. I'll take a white one, and I'll drop that down behind uh, these two clips and make it the length of both of them. Now it fills the screen. What I'm going to have to do in this case, I can't copy the keyframe. If I do, it would be the exact size of my other uh, clips. And in this case, I'm going to have to resize it manually. So I can go ahead and adjust it this way just by moving the corners and adjusting it. But one thing I want to do here is I want to be a lot more precise. So I'm going to right click and click on my zoom and I'll zoom to maybe 75% and then we can go ahead and we can adjust it this way and be a lot more precise in terms of the size of the frame. I'll go ahead and make those changes and get back to the tutorial. And so now when I play it, we'll go ahead and do our play. We have our spokesman introducing the story. The first one pops in with a little nice border around it and then it shifts to the second clip which is also part of the narrative and it copies right on top of the first one pretty nicely. So that's a very simple way of using a picture in picture which is actually in this case a video in video in CyberLink PowerDirector.